Martel can walk again, but that wasn't a guarantee after a crash that changed her life. My three worst injuries were my pelvis and both of my ankles. They had so many surgeries one after another. Honestly, the first four years, I, I cannot remember a time where I was not either in a cast or one of the cast boots, one of the legs. And sometimes I was in both. So my pelvis doesn't move. And then my ankles my, and my lower leg were crushed and those are fused also. So they, they're at 90 degrees at all time, which I always tell everybody, I'm like, not ideal to be a cattle farmer walking around in a pasture full of hoof prints, but I do it because I can't go back to a traditional job and it has become a passion of mine because it just gave me a purpose and accomplishments again and it just it fed something in me that I needed. Every day Carrie goes through a process just to get ready to farm. She takes medications to manage her injuries and puts on custom braces to help with stability changed Carrie Portell's life. My car had embedded themselves into my lower body, so I was stuck for an hour. So my recovery from start to finish of when my surgeon said, okay, Carrie, this is, this is about all we can do for you, was it was four years. I am a goal-oriented person. I am very action-planned. And I think that part of me having to sit and wait in limbo was so much harder for me than receiving my injuries. There are certain days where I'm like, boy, I'm having a tough day today, and I just don't know if I can be the carry that I wanna be today. And I give myself one day to kinda of like, okay, this is it, tomorrow you're gonna wake up and it's, it's gonna be different. And that's the thing that I want to get out to people. Meet this inspiring farm. Not ideal to be a cattle farmer walking around in a pasture full of hoof prints, but, I do it. I can take around 3,000 steps a day as long as I don't take them all in a row. So if I can split them up throughout the day, 3,000 is about my max before my ankles stop working. I have to use the wheelchair. Carrie tapped into the resources of Agribility and Vocational Rehabilitation. The two groups worked together to make farming possible again. A big part of it was just, they're like, you need to use your body mechanics differently. And, you know, I can't pick up 50 pound feed bags off the ground. It was simple things like, well, you can pull a 50 pound bag off if it's waist level, can't you? Yeah, I can. So let's build some, you know, platforms or something so that you can pull them off of there. And I'm like, yes, well, let's do that. They also set Carrie up with a UTV and an automatic feeder in the back. Having that Ranger now, like, I never even have to get out of it to feed the grain because um, it has, the cake feeder has a tray on the side and all I do is I push the switch that opens up the door and I just pour it out in the bunk feeder. And for me, one, I didn't use any steps to do that. And two, I didn't get out and put myself in any kind of harm's way. The equipment helped her in other ways as well. I actually can walk into my kids' school events and, and feel good and have a true smile on my face. Or I didn't have to use my wheelchair this evening to go to those events because I conserved so many steps and energy that day. Agribility will stick with Carrie as long as she wants to farm and she doesn't have any plans to stop. And at this point, I don't feel like I can give it up because that's, that's something I'm holding on to because my kids are all growing, you know, moving on to college. I'm not that person who will sit here in the house all day and just wait for my husband to get home. I need to do something, and I need something for myself. Eight years ago, a drunk driver hit the vehicle carrying Carrie and two of her daughters. The impact crushed both of her ankles and broke her pelvis. The only way that I can think to describe how bad it was is that it just, it hurt to even exist at that point. Carrie's recovery took years, and it was rough, but she knew there was a purpose. I was having a conversation with myself and God. The question that I kept asking during my entire recovery, I'm like, I lived, there's gotta be a reason that I'm here. What do you want me to do? He said, do the one thing that you are most afraid of. And it was getting up and speaking publicly about what happened. She was terrified, but she didn't turn down any requests to speak. I would sweat 10 minutes before every presentation for the entire first year, I would say, excuse me, and I would go get sick. 
and then I would come back on and I would do it. Carrie told herself to get over it, and finally she did. All of a sudden, everything just went away. And ever since then, like, I don't have to concentrate on me getting through my presentation anymore. I can concentrate on the audience. Now, public speaking has become one of her passions. The reward of seeing how much that affects people, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. The pain from the crash will always be there, but Carrie found her place as a full-time farmer and part-time speaker.